Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and today we're taking a look at the biggest CSGO collection, I believe, with a whole 20 individual skins, being the St. Martin collection. So, first off, we have the Sawed Off Jungle Thicket, which looks like the palm, but like, just totally green. It's basically just a green Sawed Off, which is, a uh, it's interesting, I guess, but it, it's still a D tier, it's not a very good skin. Yeah, it's going to be down there at the bottom, just a green sod off. Next up is the PP Bison Seabird, which uh, has got some unique coloring. It's got a very, very light, like, like extremely light blue on the bottom, and a dark blue on the top with a tan in the back. Almost looks like the tornado, but just a little bit worse because of that dark blue. It doesn't fit with the other two colors. I still think it's a bit better than stock, and that uh, sod off we just looked at, so it's going to go at the top of D tier. Next up, we have the MAC-10 Surfwood, which, weirdly enough, this name seems like it shouldn't be able to get, like, described. But I think that's a good description. It looks almost like ocean water combined with, like, branches of a tree. You can kind of see, especially right here, you can really see those branches kind of sticking out. So I think someone took the coloring of ocean water and just applied it to like a picture they took of like a tree and just came up with this, which is a generally kind of bright design, but also very uninspired. So for me, it's still an easy D tier, although it still is the best thing we've looked at, as every other skin has been so far. Uh, next up is the MP5 SD Bamboo Garden, which is, uh, yeah, it's an MP5 covered in like bamboo trees, I guess. I guess that's what these are. They look more like palm trees. But generally, it's just got a kind of green finish to it, uh, which isn't that great. I think it's actually the worst thing we've looked at so far, uh, despite generally looking kind of similar to the Mac-10. Anyway, next up we have the M249 Jungle, which has a nice, generally really nice color green as a general finish, and brown pretty much everywhere else. It's definitely a very generic skin, definitely a D-tier skin, but I can't really say it's particularly bad, so I'm, I'm going to put it pretty high, probably right below that Mac-10. I think the Mac-10 was a little bit nicer, just barely. Uh, next up we have the M4A4 Dark Blossom, which covers the entire skin. That's a big plus. And it's got like a dark blossoming kind of pattern going on. I guess that's a way of describing it. I don't really know how to describe what I'm looking at here. It's, it's very dark, almost impossible to see the pattern, to the point that I think you're honestly better off with stock. I'm actually going to put this all the way in F tier. Despite not looking bad, I would just recommend sticking to stock. I don't think it's worth getting. It's just not good enough on its own. Then we have the XM1014 Banana Leaf. Um, It has leaves. Don't know where the banana comes in, though. I guess it's a bit more yellow than the standard green leaf, but just a bunch of like leaves from like a jungle. It's definitely a little bit better than stock and sawed off, but that's about it. And, uh, yeah. Next up we have the P90 Sunset Lily, which has a bunch of lilies connecting into each other in an infinite cycle, which is kind of weird. And a generally dark color scheme of the match, which is kind of bad. And the front is super scratched up, as a lot of P90s kind of are, which is really unfortunate. So for that reason, I can't rate this too highly, just because of how dark it is. Um, and the generally kind of weird design, so I'm going to put it right behind the sawed off, actually which was just a solid colored green. Next up, we have the Tech 9 Rust Leaf, which takes the banana leaf and adds kind of a, kind of fall colors. You know, in the fall where all the leaves get a bit darker and start falling off. That's what this looks like. And honestly, it's kind of nice. I don't think you'd go wrong picking this up. So for me, it's our first C tier. It's just a solid looking Tech 9. Next up, we have the MP7 Teal Blossom. Uh, which has that same kind of blossom design of the sorry, blossom design of the M4, but with a color pattern that makes it kind of known, right? You can actually see what's going on. Now, even seeing what's going on, I'm not sure what's going on, but it does look a bit nicer, and the color scheme is 100% nicer than stock. And honestly, I don't think you go wrong picking this up. So for me, it's a C tier. Uh, next up, we have the UMP Day Lily, which unfortunately doesn't cover the bottom part of the weapon. It seems to be a really unfortunate pattern with a lot of UMP skins. 
and it's got that same design of the P90 with a better color scheme, but like I said, it's an unfinished skin, doesn't cover the whole thing, and I'm not a big fan of unfinished skins unless they're really good, and this one really isn't, so I'm just going to put it above the P90 for its slightly better color scheme, and that's about it. Uh, yeah. Next up, you have the 57 Crimson Blossom, which is the same Blossom skin that we've looked at twice already. Still has a dark color pattern. The difference is the bottom of the skin is just a very nice, solid, like, pinkish red. Which I guess is somewhat okay, but it's still a D tier. I don't think it looks that nice. Um, probably a bit better than the M249, though. Sorry. Probably a bit better than the M249, though. So, yeah. Uh, that's where it goes in D tier. Then, next up, we have the FAMAS Sundown. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It's like the palm, the palm leaf design or whatever it's called, uh, except with more, I guess, vaporwave esque colors. It's got like a darker purple leaf with light blue and pink for some reason, and then like a fence. I, I got no clue what they're going for here, and I think it's only barely better than stock. I think it's one of the worst things we looked at so far. Uh, next up, we have the Glock 18 synth leaf, which is that same banana leaf pattern with a more synthetic kind of vaporwave color scheme, uh, which I don't actually think looks better than the other leaf that we looked at, but I think it still looks somewhat okay. So I'm going to put it right after that 5.7. I think that's a good place for it. still think it's a D-tier skin. I don't like it that much. Then we have the Aug Midnight Lily, which uh, is actually kind of dope, dude. It's got a hollow effect on all the other fucking lilies. I high key want this. Just because the, uh, the sheer amount of hollow going on, dude. This just looks dope. I haven't seen many skins that do stuff like this, but when I do, it's always really cool. And this is really. Looks like a bunch of hollow lilies on the back half of the design. Unfortunately, it's not a finished skin, but I can't pass up how cool that, that hollow effect looks. I'm putting this in B tier. It's a really solid one. I don't think you can go wrong with. Even though it's unfinished, the, the hollow effect on a skin is sick. Anyway, the next one is the SSG-08C Coleco, which has a nice, very nice looking yellow scope with some kind of, like, sun, flower, sorry. It kind of looks like both a sun and a flower, and then, like, like a, like a blooming flower. So I guess there's, like, a just blooming flowers on, like, vines over, like, a green backdrop. Uh, which looks somewhat okay. For the price of 100 to $200, though, I'll pass. Doesn't look that great. But I don't think... I think if the price was lower, you couldn't really go wrong with it. It's got a decent design. Things a bit nicer than the MP7, but still a bit worse than the uh, Tech 9. And yeah. That being said, we're on to the only pink in this collection, being the MP9 Wild Lily. And this is a wild-ass skin, dude. It, it looks dope. <laughs> Uh, a lot of focus on this kind of wildly sprouting lily with some really unique colors, but that, colors that still kind of work. Very well defined skin, especially in this fact new condition. And yeah, I mean, it just generally is a really nice looking finish, other than this random part of the stock weapon that sticks out. And uh, yeah, it's kind of dope. And uh, that reason I'm going to put in the C tier, top of C tier. I don't think you can roll with it, but I don't think it's as good as that AUG was. And our final skin is the AK Wild Lotus, which is basically the same thing, but on AK and with better kind of color schemes. Looks really, really cool. I can't say this is an S tier, but this is probably the highlight of this collection. I'd say it's definitely an A tier. Barely passing up the cool hollow effect that that AUG had. And yeah, that is it for the St. Mark collection. If you guys enjoyed this one, if you did, make sure to comment some of your favorite skins from this collection below. Make sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button to show your support. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at this as much as I did, and I will see you in the next one.